Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Okay, good evening everyone. So I hope uh, we were continuing with the chapter cell, right? Yes? Yes, sir. Okay, and in cell, we were, uh, we were doing about mitochondria. So just we'll go through the notes that have been sent to you in the group. Okay. We'll move through it quickly and see what all contents are given over there. Okay, so I think uh, so we can start now. Just one more minute, let, uh, let everyone start. And all so that all of you should be starting on time. Joining on time, then we can start. Okay, see. See, this is the same notes which have been sent out to you in the group. So that we will be studying here the different components, basic. Cell structure and function. So start with the cell membrane. In the last class, we discussed the structure of the cell membrane. Okay. And we described the cell membrane to be made up of a phospholipid bilayer with tunnel proteins in between them. So the cell membrane, it surrounds the cell and is a selective barrier between the interior and the exterior. Selective barrier means it allows certain selected objects to enter the cell and doesn't allow some of the objects to enter the cell, depending on their properties. Not that property is not uh, with respect to its size. It's not that it allows the smaller particles to enter and larger particles not. It's not that. It allows certain particles to enter depending on their nature. Okay. Let's see the primary role. The primary role lies in regulating the passage of substances, including nutrients and waste products. So, That means it allows the nutrients to get inside the cell and allows the waste materials to move out of the cell. Now, within, within it, specialized proteins play a crucial role in facilitating molecular transport and cellular communication. Okay, so what name is given to these proteins? Can anyone recall the name given to these proteins? Sir, uh, hmm? sir, ATP? 
No, these proteins, they were called as tunnel proteins. See your plasma membrane. We drew the, we drew the diagram, but in the horizontal way. We drew the same diagram in the horizontal way. So here it's the plasma membrane, which consists of tunnel proteins. The molecules are some molecules they pass through these tunnel proteins. Okay. Now these tunnel pro uh, they are made up of a phospholipid bilayer. So it allows certain substances to enter and certain substances not to enter. Then see the cell nucleus. So cell nucleus, it is an organelle that houses DNA located in the center of eukaryotic cells. So DNA is centrally located. DNA is located in the nucleus of the cell and the nucleus of the cell is centrally located in eukaryotic cells. In the prokaryotic cells, you don't find a regular nucleus. Rather, you find a nucleolus. So, the primary function or the main function of the nucleus is to store the genetic information or genetic material in the form of DNA. So, the DNA is present inside the nucleus. But where is it present inside the nucleus? Yeah, where is it present inside the nucleus? Yeah, where is it present inside the nucleus? Sir, where is DNA present? Where? Sir, could you repeat the question? We find the DNA inside the nucleus, but where inside the nucleus? Sir, in uh, the chromatin material? Yes, on the chromatin material. The DNA is located on the chromatin material. It also contains the nucleolus, which is involved in ribosome synthesis. So, nucleolus is again a dense matter present inside the nucleus. And this nucleolus is involved in the formation of ribosomes which were also called as the protein factors. The ribosomes, they are also called as protein factors. Okay, protoplasm. When I say protoplasm and cytoplasm, see, protoplasm means all the contents of a cell. Everything that is within the cell boundary is the protoplasm. So, inside the cell, you find a gel-like material. So, these are the gel-like materials which we call as the cytoplasm. So, this is the gel-like material which we have called cytoplasm. And then the other materials, including other materials, it is wholly called as protoplasm. Sir, what is matrix? Yeah, what happened? Yeah, what happened? Sir, it's written as yeah. matrix. What is matrix? Yeah, what happened? Just repeat. Sir, what does matrix mean? Uh, I think uh, your voice is coming to be a lot of slow. Can you be a little bit louder? Or increase your mic volume? See, uh, we were done. Just we have to do this endoplasmic reticulum and the ribosomes. After these two, I think we are finished. Okay, matrix means matrix means a mixture of substances. A matrix. Gel like.
Okay. So see, uh, we are just about to do ribosomes. This is the only topic we are left with here. We are left with ribosomes. We are left with endoplasmic reticulum. Golgi apparatus we completed in the last class. Okay. So just we will do a quick revision of the Golgi apparatus also. Energy supply we have done. Mitochondria we have already done. Okay. Chloroplast we need to do, which are found only in the plast cell, uh, plant cell. The cellular digestion also we have done with the help of the lysosomes and peroxygen. So we have done lysosomes, which help in the digestion of uh, digestion process. Okay. So lysosomes and peroxygens. Okay, support and movement. So support and movement. Flagella and fila. Also, the flagella and cilia, they are arranged in the form of 9 plus 2. Okay, just I'll tell you what is this 9 plus 2. Just give me one minute. Uh, give me one minute. One minute. Out. Okay, so thank you for waiting so much. Now, who will tell me? Okay, students. So, what about the ribosomes? Let's continue with the ribosomes. So, what are the ribosomes known as? Yes, anyone can anyone tell what is the function of the ribosomes? They manufacture proteins. They have the they the manufacturing of proteins. They are again I'm not clear. Ribosomes, they are the protein factories. They are also known as protein factories. Yes. So see. Ribosomes, they are also known as protein factories and they help in the synthesis of proteins. So ribosomes, they are essential organelles for cellular functioning and survival. They synthesize proteins using the genetic information from messenger RNA. Messenger, you have three types of the RNA. Messenger RNA and transfer RNA. So these two types of RNA are there. The messenger RNA, it is being decoded or it is decoded by these ribosomes. Okay. So ribosomes, they are essential organelles for cellular functioning and survival. What function is performed by the ribosomes? They are the organs for protein synthesis. So while the synthesis of proteins, it requires the use of RNA, which we call as mRNA and tRNA. mRNA means messenger RNA and tRNA means transfer RNA. Okay. So they synthesize proteins using the genetic information that is created from mRNA. Ribosomes, where they are located, so some of the ribosomes, they are found free in the cytoplasm and some of the ribosomes, they are located on the endoplasmic reticulum, making it a making it look like rough. So we also call it as a rough endoplasmic reticulum. Got it? Now, later on, you study that ribosomes are of two types. Okay. And there is a unit to measure these ribosomes, which we call as 
रेटिकुलम it is a network of interconnected membranes that extend from the nuclear membrane to the cell membrane and it plays a fundamental role in the transport processing and distribution of proteins and lipids within the cell so see how it happens now the endoplasmic reticulum they help in the formation of proteins okay so the rough endoplasmic reticulum they work in coordination with the ribosomes whereas the smooth endoplasmic reticulum they help in the manufacture of cholesterols steroids so cholesterols and steroids they are manufactured by the smooth endoplasmic reticulum okay so here the two types of endoplasmic reticulum they are given rough endoplasmic reticulum rer it is studded with the ribosomes and is involved in the synthesis and modification of proteins whereas ser or smooth endoplasmic reticulum it specializes in lipid synthesis so i told you one of the examples is cholesterol so cholesterol is an example of lipid or fat okay so smooth endoplasmic reticulum or ser is present there it performs lipid synthesis carbohydrate metabolism and detoxification inside the cell okay so another structure if you i showed you another structure for endoplasmic reticulum to have the details of the endoplasmic reticulum Now the Golgi apparatus or the Golgi body. So Golgi body, they were dis invented by Cam. They were discovered by Camillo Golgi. Okay. So each Golgi body has two faces. One face is known as the cis face, and the other face is known as the trans face. It performs the function of housekeeping of the cells. Housekeeping means taking care of the cell of different functionalities like uh, here. it synthesizes carbohydrates and lipoproteins lipoproteins and is essential for maintaining the cells internal balance and facilitating communication with the outside facilitating communication with the outside is done with the help of the formation of vesicles golgi body help in the formation of vesicles so due to the formation of vesicles uh, they help in the transport of the substances okay they also help in the synthesis of carbohydrates and proteins lipoproteins so let me uh, let me ask now one question from everyone okay harshit can you give me the use of the ser Uh, so it synthesizes uh, yes it synthesizes uh, it is cholesterol it is it produces cholesterol okay sampad sampad what is the uh, what is the function of ser there it uh, synthesizes the uh, lipids and also helps in detoxification of uh, substances okay so it helps in detoxification also it help in the synthesis of lipids the smooth endoplasmic reticulum okay. then jitendra what is the role of rough endoplasmic reticulum sir it helps in it produces proteins okay. and acts and 
helps in transportation of and helps in transportation of materials from nucleus to the outside so, sorry from nucleus to the cytoplasm okay. so rough endoplasmic reticulum it help in protein synthesis with the ribosomes and Okay, uh, what are cisterne here? What are cisterne in a, in a Golgi body? Yeah, what are cisterne in the Golgi bodies? Cell Golgi. Cell Golgi tubules like structure which are, which are present the with each other. Yeah, what happened? Pardon? There are the tubules, uh, there are the uh, tubules that are present in it are called cisterne. See, cisterne, they are the lamellar structures present in the Golgi body. They are the double membranous lamellar structures present in the Golgi body, which are called as cisterne. Then okay. energy supply. Yeah, Sampath, you are asking something. Sir, the lamellar means finished again, what is lamellar? Yeah, it means two-sided only. Okay, the next is energy supply. So, which organelle supplies the energy? Yeah, which organelle supplies the energy? Sir, mitochondria. Mitochondria. So, definitely now we are going to study about the mitochondria. So, we have studied this earlier. Just giving it a quick review about the mitochondria. Okay, so see. Okay, what do we call uh, these foldings? What name is given to these foldings? Is that, uh... yeah, Christe. Christe, very good. These foldings are called as Christe, and this is also a double membrane structure. Okay, so here also you find your matrix and the lamella. Then you also find the DNA of the mitochondria <laughs> that is located inside it only. So you have the DNA of the mitochondria. You have some F1 particles which perform the uh, process of respiration. So the double membrane of the mitochondria allows for the organization of various stages of the respiratory chain. The next is chloroplast. Let's see. So chloroplast, these are the organelles which are present only in the plant cells. Chloroplast, the another name for another common name for chloroplast is plastids. They are also called as plastids. And these plastids are of three different types. They are of they are called chloroplast, chromoplast, and leucoplasts. So here the chloroplast, they are green in color and they store chlorophyll pigment. The pigment chlorophyll is stored in chloroplasts. The role of the chloropl uh, chloroplast is to absorb the sun's light. Okay, Okay, 
So I can uh, now in within the chloroplast, I show you how the arrangement. Is. So within the chloroplast, the different structures they are called as you have, you find here two types of structures inside this chloroplast. It looks something like this. See. So again, here we find, find a pile of lamellar structures like this. So such an arrangement is found inside. Can anyone name them? Is there anyone who is aware of the names? for all these. I want the name of this, okay, the name of this one. This complete pile is called as a grana or granum. Okay. Uh, this link between them, it's called as lamella. Lamella. And each each of this is called as a thylakoids. So a pile of thylakoids is actually your granum. And one granum is connected with another granum with the help of the lamella. So these chloroplasts they contain the green pea. The green pigment contained by the chloroplast is called as chlorophyll. So they contain chlorophyll as the green pigment. Uh, can anyone tell the role of chloroplast during the process of photosynthesis? What is the role of chloroplast during the process of photosynthesis? That absorbs the sunlight. Uh, what extract? That absorbs the sunlight. Yeah, absorb the sunlight. Absorption of the sunlight. You will see again. These plastids, they are classified as three categories. So plastids are classified as chloroplast. They are classified as chloroplast, leucoplast, and chromoplast. So there are three types of plastics. Chloroplast, which store chlorophyll. The leucoplast, they store starch. Whereas the chromoplast, they are of other colors. Colors other than green. It is all the plastics. Is there anything which is left out? Students, is there anything that is left out? No, sir. Okay, students. So, we'll, uh, just one thing. Currently, I'm not feeling well. So, we'll continue the class in the next, not tomorrow, day after tomorrow. Okay, students. Arshit, Jitendra. Yes, sir, that's yes, sir. fine. Okay. So the notes are there. Just go through it. We'll continue with this. Okay? Yes, sir. Okay, bye.